and everyone in the company is going to do something else so now nothing is consistent one of the major reasons why Trello beats Jira is because Jira or issue tracking is kind of treating everything as a database and you can query the database but no one has the same view no one has the same set is using the same query um, with something like Trello like everyone has the same view of the board maybe they hide a bit more maybe a bit less but they don't have a separate query where they're really looking at different stuff and I think that's a really good starting point and we should guide people towards that starting point point. and I think GitLab's been super strong and making sure sure the common board the issue tracking and the agile portfolio management all have refer to the same issues you don't have to import anything to another application but we got to make sure that it works the simple user experience works by default out of the box without any questions and there shouldn't even be an escape hatch or something it should just have progressive delivery like it should gradually you can make it more complex but without losing that easy start other than this I think the other major thing we haven't done is make sure that people can just migrate from Jira well, to yeah, GitLab sure. With, with the enforced workflows and we've been reluctant to do that and we're we're seeing it we're seeing people not leaving Jira, Jira behind while they transition everything else to GitLab and that's that's got to stop ASAP so it's interesting you mentioned the, um, the, the default swim lanes I know we've had that conversation before and we've always looked and said well what does Trello actually do and it's interesting because Trello starts with a blank canvas they don't have any columns they do make it really trivial to add them but they don't have a concept of like, oh, this is what you should be doing. And I think that's actually goes back to the point that they, it's so generic that it doesn't help you as a software development company. Give me some advice. Tell me what I should be doing and, or at least pick between three different choices. Yeah, we have things that like, some things are in merge request stage. Great. Uh, we, that's a, that's a link. Some things are closed. Well, um, so I think good. there's some good defaults we can put in there. We should have a bit more courage and just yeah. do that for people and then they can change it if they don't like it. Right. But make sure that people by default are, are helped. In terms of sensible default though, one of the things that I think that Trello did well was they published uh, like a whole bunch of sensible defaults where you can more or less clone a board. True. And so like as an educator, so I, I, I worked in education for a long time and I really wanted to like use Trello in my class and there was a bunch of sensible defaults that I could clone into my classroom and say like okay this is how I'm going to use in my class. So you just make a new board that drops all the cards and keeps the columns. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. Cool. That's it.